Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you an easy way to organize your tabs with a new update in Chrome called Tab Groups. So if you're anything like me, or most people really, sometimes your Chrome tabs can get a bit unruly. But thanks to a new update in Chrome, it's now very easy to manage those and create groups so that your tabs become a bit more organized. So once this new update comes out, all you have to do is simply right click on any tab and then you can add to a new group. So let's click on add to new group and you'll notice it created a little circle here. When I click on that, I can name this group. So uh, for this example, let's just break it up into two different groups. Let's um, break it up into personal and professional because now that we're working from home, it's really easy to kind of blend those two worlds. So let's create one called personal and we will make that red. And then let's come over here and let's right click on this one and we'll add to a new group and we'll call this group professional. And we'll make this blue. So now we can take our tabs and simply click and drag them into the groups. Or you can right click on a tab and add to an existing group. And it will put it in that group. And you'll see the line underneath that shows that this belongs to this group. And then you can simply... Do that for all of your tabs. And then you'll see that they're now arranged. So it's a really easy way to stay organized. And then if I open up a new tab that doesn't belong to anything, you'll notice that there's no line under or around it, which just means it's not grouped right now. And then again, you can right click on that or just click and drag it into a group. And you'll notice as I'm moving it, it switches groups. And then if you want to ungroup them, you simply right click and select close group or ungroup and it will return them to an ungrouped status. So one of the pro tips that Google mentioned in the article where they announced this new update is to use emojis instead of words when you're creating your groups. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's go to a website where we can get emojis. So I'll just use the site emojicopy.com. Let's pick an emoji. We'll click on this one. And then you'll see it puts it down below here. I'll select copy. And then when I come back up here to create my new groups, instead of the name, instead of typing something, I can just control V and paste it in there. And you'll notice now that I've got a group that it has the color and the emoji that I placed in there. Another good tip is when you're setting your groups, you can create groups for projects you're working on, projects you still have to work on, projects that have been completed, and so on. Just another way to really help you stay organized while you're in Chrome. And then again, just like your regular Chrome, depending on what your settings are, if you have it so that all your tabs will open up once you open Chrome again, you'll see all your tabs still grouped. And if you don't have that setting, when you go into your history, you can select the recently closed tabs and then you'll see once I open it all of my tabs are back open and they will stay in the same groups as I had them when I closed it. So while this update is not yet available to the public it will be available really soon but if you don't want to wait you can actually check it out right now using the Google Chrome beta. I've put a link to that down in the description. Also in the description, you'll find links to several other video tutorials. So please feel free to go through those and share them with teachers that you think might find them useful. If you have any questions about this or anything else, please feel free to reach out to me. I do the best I can to read and respond to as many comments as possible. You can leave me a comment in the comment section below. You can reach me on Twitter at Dan Spada, or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the ed tech show. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest news and my tutorials, please click that subscribe button down below and click on that little bell next to it so that you get notifications every time a new video comes out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.